Hi folks, it's uh, 6.30 in the evening, it's Thursday the 7th of September 2017. The moon has, just in the last couple of hours, left Pisces and moved into Aries. The sun is exactly halfway through Virgo. Mercury stopped going retrograde, it's still in late Leo. Mars is in early Virgo. But it's all about Neptune. The hurricane, hurricanes that are devastating the Gulf of Mexico, as well as the floods that are affecting northern India and southern India. The uh, hurricane that's out there at the moment, Hurricane Irma, is bigger than France. It's massive. I was in the Caribbean, living in the Caribbean in 1980, when Hurricane David hit Martinique, killing nearly 10,000 people. And I was sort of sheltering under the concrete stairs, thinking... Oh, this is weird. I've never been in anything like this before. But I was I was too young and too naive to realise what was going on, to be honest. I was only 25 then. It's devastating what's going on. But normally, you say people say to me, can you predict the weather via astrology? And I go, of course you can't. No one, no, anyone who says they can predict the weather is obviously wrong. Because there's always going to be different types of weather all over the globe at any different time. It's going to be snowing in Antarctica, sunny in the Sahara and raining elsewhere at any given time. But when I did my, uh, I, I did a video about a week ago. I think it might have been at the start of the month. And I said, look, over this coming month, it's all about Neptune. We've had the full moon yesterday. Yesterday? Yeah, early yesterday morning, I think it was. And the full moon was conjunct Neptune, with the moon on top of Neptune, full, full, and the sun opposite Neptune. In about two weeks' time, 10 days, 12 days' time, something like that, Mercury in the sky would oppose Neptune. At the end of this month, Venus would oppose Neptune. In about three weeks' time, Mars would oppose Neptune. Towards, in, in about two weeks' time, Jupiter in the sky is going to be, you'll like this one, sesi quick quadrate, a square and a half, to Neptune. Saturn isn't affecting Neptune, but it is in a sign that's square to it. At the start of next month, Uranus will be semi-square, half a square, to Neptune. Pluto is the only planet that's not giving Neptune a hard time at the moment. Now, Neptune is the Roman version of the Greek Poseidon. When the Olympians had their battle for the planet with the Titans, and they cast the Titans into Tartarus, the three main male Olympians split the firmament between them. Jupiter stroke Zeus took the overworld. Pluto stroke Hades took the underworld. And Neptune stroke Poseidon took the water world. And with every planet in the sky, bar Saturn and Pluto, affecting Neptune at this time and over the coming few weeks. To a certain extent, it doesn't surprise me that um, Neptune, is, the, the, the stuff around water, the sea, and events concerning the weather around the sea is such big news around the world. But also, Inland, I mean, look at what's happening in India. We're not seeing this in the newscast because it's more common in India than it is elsewhere, but it's still happening. And thousands and thousands of people are dying there. Millions are being made homeless. Got to, put, got to keep these things in perspective. Neptune is also the capacity for floods, but not just floods of water. Empathy, compassion, intuition, spirituality, as well as alcohol, drugs, uh, avoidance and escapism. And there will be a massive, yet again, another massive refugee problem. Look at what's happening with Burma and Sri Lanka and, and the refugee situation that's developing there. It seems that Neptune is everywhere at the moment. Floods of water, floods of compassion and empathy, floods of refugees, floods of aid. We talked for many decades now about the war on drugs, the war on terrorism. And now I think floods is becoming much more of a buzzword. 
It's very easy to say that this is down to climate change, and it probably is. I prefer the words climate chaos. I'm not saying that it's man-made, but it's an undeniable fact that it's happening. And, unfortunately, with all these short-term oppositions, particularly from Mercury and Mars, coming up to oppose Neptune over the coming two to three weeks, this is not something that's going to go away fast. There will be more. And I suspect that whilst Irma is the biggest so far, I expect that some of the ones that are shortly to come in the next couple of weeks will be equally as big. Sorry to be the bearer of bad news, but um, we live in interesting times, Neptunian times. Catch you later world. Bye.